there was a request to do a video on the solar wind indicator using a Ninza Renko 12.4 setup. So brick size of 12 and a trend threshold of 4. I wouldn't necessarily want to use this setup on a really fast moving market like the NASDAQ, but on something like the YM or the ES, uh, this setting would be acceptable. So I've added the solar wind indicator and the only thing I've changed is this multiplier stop. Uh, it's usually a four. I just changed it to a three just to get a few more signals. And for the alerts, I only have it printing the trend start. It doesn't print the pullback or the strengthening signals. And I also changed the font of the step numbers. I just made it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And then I also added the end of bar ordering tool that Ninza offers. Uh, this is not necessary for this system to work, but it's just an easier way to get into trades, especially on Rinko charts. It can help out tremendously. Here I've just made it a little bit simpler and taken some of the order entry styles off, and it's only giving me the option to buy an up candle or sell a down candle. So here we have the YM loaded on market replay. This is for September 7th, uh, Wednesday. See, we got a nice big trend move there. Then we had some chop. And then the trend continues down here. So what I like to do with the solar wind and a Rinko chart, when we have these areas of chop, I really want to wait for a breakout above the high or the low of the area. And with Rinko bars, with the Ninza Renko bars, it's a lot easier to see the range areas here. So I would possibly be interested in a long above this high here or a short below this low. And then we would also want the solar wind trend to change. So right here we get a trend downward. And instead of getting in right at this bar when the trend changes color, I would put in a limit order right there at 153 and then I would put my stop up here above this solar wind stop line at 172 and as you can see we've had a great move down almost a hundred ticks right there uh, this is just in the pre-market 730 to almost 830 so now the market is open it's 931 I'd be waiting for it to break out above this high here and print a bullish trend, which it just did. But let's say it does break above this high again. I would like to get long. We're having a bullish trend on the solar wind and we'd also be breaking above this previous high. And as you can see, we're making higher lows on the Rinko bars, it's easy to see. So if it does continue above this level, it would be a good sign that we'd get a pretty good bullish move. Some more possible aggressive style entries or scalp trades could be right at these solar wind stop lines. Uh, when price comes down right to the stop area, you know if it breaks, it's going to turn bearish. But often it will reject off of that and turn bullish. You could. Uh, use your end of bar ordering tool to buy the next up candle. If it does continue up, then you would be able to catch a little long right there. So we got in the trade. Um, gonna keep moving my stop up. I'm following these dotted lines on the solar wind trend. So it got our target pretty quick. As you can see, the trend has continued nicely. Here we got an asterisk on our step number, which usually signifies the trend is weakening, but it often will shoot up higher before it does weaken. So we're looking for the market to make one final push to the upside when we see these asterisks. So the market got one more push, and then it did start weakening. When this trend started printing bearish, it was also breaking this last low here, changing market structure to the downside. So that would have been a viable that would have been a viable entry at 237. Uh, came down 40 ticks, 
And here we had another opportunity for a low risk sell. Uh, we're already in a downtrend and it's coming up to the solar wind stop dotted line. Be a great place to sell and have your stop just above here. And that definitely continued down quite a ways. You could also wait and hit a sell down candle. So if the price does come back down, it would put you in. Catch that nice little bounce. So I can also show you what happened the next day, September 8th on Thursday. Uh, we're into the New York Open, still on the YM chart. Uh, we're getting some chop here. And then we get a bullish trend on the solar wind. And right here where it prints, we're still kind of waiting. We would want to see it break market structure here and break above these previous highs, which are definitely easier to see on these Nenzarenko charts. So right there, about 502, as you can see, it goes up almost 100 ticks right there. And then as it comes down to this solar wind stop dotted line here, you can see a nice little scalping bounce opportunity off of the stop line. Uh, 20 ticks right there. And then we get a bearish trend print. But we're not really super excited about getting into a short at this moment. Uh, you can definitely take a quick scalp trade there for another 20 ticks or so. But if we're going to take a longer term short trade, we want price to break market structure and take out these last lows on the Ninzarenko. Uh, right around 510, price came down, but it did not break these lows. So if we were being extra cautious, we would not have gotten in the short trade there. And then the solar wind prints another bullish signal. And at this point, we're curious, but we definitely want to get some confirmation that the trend is continuing. So we'd be looking for a break of this last Ninzarenko bar right around 600. Uh, as you can see over here, it breaks 600 and goes up another 100 ticks. Also, we're getting an asterisk on our solar wind step, which means that we can expect one more push higher possibly although the trend might be weakening. But usually when these asterisks appear, we'll get one more push higher. So once this asterisk prints and we get confirmation of the Ninza Rinko bars are headed up, this would be a good entry right at the first up candle, 674. Uh, there's an easy 25 ticks. And then as it's coming down, we get a double asterisk. So we're looking out for yet another push higher before the actual fade of the trend. And it teases our solar wind stop line here, the blue dotted line. Uh, that would be a great entry there, or we could wait till we get an up candle print. Yeah. Buying the up candle using the buy up button on the end of bar ordering tool. We could get in right there at 678. Uh, went up another 100 ticks or so. And here we get another asterisk. Um, I would be expecting one more move up, but the trend also turns red here, so we're really only going to be looking for shorts while the trend is printing red. I would be looking for a price to take out these lows, or this low, or this low, to kind of confirm that market structure is actually going to shift to the downside. So right around here, around 699 would be a good entry for a short. I did break that number it came down over 100 ticks and here we get an asterisk signifying that there will probably be one more push to the downside and that was definitely quite a push to the downside there actually ended up dropping over 200 ticks there so this is just a few different ways that you can use the solar wind indicator with the Ninza Renko bars Thank you.